Good morning. Today is Wednesday, September the 14th, and our lesson this morning is God's Word Stands Forever. And our lesson is coming from Isaiah, the 40th chapter, the first verse through the 8th. And the scripture lesson text read, Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, saith your God. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem, and cry unto her, that her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned, for she has received of the Lord's hand, double for all her sins. The voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough place is plain, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. The voice said, Cry. And he said, What shall I cry? All flesh is grass, and all the goodliness thereof is as the flower of the field. The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, because the Spirit of the Lord bloweth upon it. Surely the people is grass. The grass withereth, withereth, the flower fadeth, but the word of our God shall stand forever. Amen. This is a, a great and wonderful lesson we had this morning reminding us that God's word shall stand. He shall have a people that shall call upon his name. He shall have someone that shall be faithful to him. He shall have a, a, a remnant in the land at all times. There are those that are standing fast. Uh, it reminds me of, of the uh, scripture in the Bible where it was saying that uh, Elijah was, was out praying and he had went through some rough times in his ministry and he said, Lord, I am the only one that's uh, uh, out doing your will. I'm the only one that's, that's working your work. And he said, I have 7,000 that has not bowed the knee, that has not kissed the ring. Always realize you can do it as well. You can be one of the ones that can hold on and do the will of the Lord because his word does not fail. There's always those that can do. All we have to do is set our mind to it. I'm going to read you a passage from the Matthew Henry commentary. It says, Our human life is a warfare. The Christian life is the most so, but the struggle will not last always. Troubles are removed in love, then sin is pardoned. In the great atonement of the death of Christ, the mercy of God is exercised to the glory of his justice. In Christ and his sufferings, true penance receive of the Lord's hand, double for all their sins. For the sanctification Christ made by his death was of infinite value. The prophet had some references to the return of the Jews from Babylon, but this is a small event compared with that pointed out by the Holy Ghost in the New Testament when John the Baptist proclaimed the approach of Christ. When Eastern princes marched through desert countries, ways were prepared for them, and hindrances removed, and made the Lord prepare our hearts by the teaching of his word and the conviction of his spirit, that high and proud thoughts may be brought down, good desires planted, crooked and rugged tempers made straight and softened and every hindrance removed, that we may be ready for his will on earth and prepared for his heavenly kingdom. What are all the belongings the be that belongs to fallen man are all that he does, but as the grass of the flower thereof, and that will all the titles and possessions of a dying sinner avail when they leave him under condemnation. The word of the Lord can do that for us, which all flesh cannot. The glad tidings of the coming of Christ were to be sent forth to the ends of the earth. Satan is the strong man armed, but our Lord Jesus is stronger, and he shall proceed and do all that he possess. Christ is the good shepherd. He showers tender care for, our, for young converts, weak believers, and those of a sorrowful spirit. But his word 
he requires no more service, and by his providence he re- inflicts no more trouble than he will strengthen them for. May we know our shepherd's voice and follow him, proving ourselves his sheep. Amen. This is a great lesson. I pray that you meditate on this lesson today, and y'all have a blessed day.